Hello, I'm Entrilism and welcome to Crusader Kings 3, the brand new grand strategy role-playing game from Paradox in the Crusader Kings franchise. It is now out as of this video, so you can go get it if you want. There will be a link down below to my Nexus store, which is like an affiliate thing if you want to go check it out there. But we're going to be starting and we're going to be playing a nation right in the middle of things. So, welcome to the map for Crusader Kings 3, where there's plenty of places to choose from. It's a very, very big map. But we're going to be focusing over here in the middle of the Mediterranean. And we're going to be playing as the Duchy of Apulia. Apulia? 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 I'm, I don't know Italian, so I'm sorry. Uh, but we are over here, which is a very interesting country in terms of history because it's only very recently got formed by Duke Robert the Fox, who is a Norman, actually. He comes all the way from up here. His family originate from here in France. And then he left down to Italy as kind of like a mercenary, fought on a few different sides in many wars, eventually got gifted a castle, and then took over a whole bunch of land. Uh, he had to then split up with his first wife because they were way too closely related, and ended up marrying his second wife, who is a badass and is still married to as of now, and who historically, I think helped lead the armies into battle alongside her husband which is kind of cool but it's also kind of a location where you're in the middle of everything because we have right next to us the byzantine empire who you know aren't catholic which is great because they're gonna love us uh we have the middle east which also not catholic obviously africa again not catholic most of spain not catholic and the holy roman empire who well, they are Catholic, mostly, at this stage, but not particularly holy, uh, also not related to the Romans, and not really an empire, but they're big and scary, so we're right next to a whole load of things that want to kill us, which I think is very appropriate. So, welcome to Duke Robert the Fox of Apuli, and of course our wife, Duchess Shilgesha. I'm Shilgesha? I'm, look, pronouncing things is not my forte. Also, yeah, cultural head is currently Duke William. Apparently, he's fascinated with war camels. All right, William. As you do. Anyway, because this is a first-time series into Crusader Kings 3, and I realize that a load of people are also getting into Crusader Kings 3 for the very first time right now, uh, the game actually just being out, um, we're going to explain the game as we go along, and the first thing to do is we need a lifestyle. Now, luckily... Because we're, I believe, 51 at the time of this. Uh, we have filled out Strategist. We've got a little bit of Gallant, which is nice. Because Starwatt Leader is an excellent perk. Reduces the risks of commanding armies. With everyone around us and everything going on, I'm tempted to go Intrigue. But, in all honesty, going for a little bit of gold. Especially with Golden Obligations, where you can demand payment for hooks. Seems like a perfect pick. So, we need to pick which one of these we want to focus on. They have no reference to these. Like, you can pick either of these three and then start going down these as you feel fit. So, I think we'll go wealth focus. Get ourselves some more monthly income. And then we'll try and get golden obligations because that's fantastic. Being able to demand payment for hooks is great. Those of you wondering what a hook is. A hook is basically like influence over a person. Basically, uh, you have your hook in someone. Do you have any control over them, and how do you have that control? So, for instance, if you know a secret, you might have a hook on them. If they're your child and you raise them, you would have a hook in them. Um, if you are sleeping with them, then you have a hook. You get hooks, and then you can use these for things, to make them vote for things. Or, if you have this, give you money, uh, change their feudal contracts, etc. Like, you can use hooks for a whole load of stuff. Children! Black wards, excellent. So, we have a whole bunch of kids. Uh, Beaumont de Hauteville is, I believe, the son of our previous wife. Emma de Hauteville, I guess, also our previous wife as well. And then we've got Matilda, Roger, Guy, Mabel, Aria. Do we have more children? That's it. Just the seven for now. There will be more. Uh, nearly certain, but we can start educating them, and we probably want to do that to be able to have a control over how they're going to grow up, because we're going to have to play as them someday, so we might as well make sure we've got our hooks in them nice and early. 
Now, Beaumont de Hauteville is a brave, cynical, wrathful person, which is great because we are cynical as well, although admittedly greedy, ambitious, and a brilliant strategist. What's her wife? Forgiving, patient, and honest? Yeah, I can see how we go together. This is a match made in heaven. Let's fabricate some claims. And I think Solano's probably one to go for to begin with. It's got a nice three counties there. It'll take 18 months. So, I'm kind of hoping we can get King Philip here to agree to an alliance via marriage. Because he, he doesn't have a wife. So close. Okay, we are actually just need like one reason. Okay, um, what if arrange a marriage to your heir? Right, Matilda, our greedy, cynical, rowdy. Oh, it kind of takes after us. Uh, we will be marrying you off to Prince Hughes of France. Brother of the king. Or at least we'll be, you know, marrying off eventually. Right now, you're just betrothed. So maybe what we'll do to begin with is... Declare war on you for county. Which we can do. And then we'll raise our armies. We'll begin this the right way. Okay. Um, let's unpause. All right, Crusader Kings, calm down. There we go. We're just going to go siege out their capital. Oh, hello. They brought in reinforcements. Yeah, they've got way too many people. Uh, we'll have to bring in our own allies if need be. We have friends with France, don't you know? Also, let's be friends with our bishop. Let's go sway you. All right, uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. Also, our chancellor is pretty terrible. We've got a better chancellor. We really don't. Okay. Uh, we have a declaration of war. Your low character is the subject of Greek plays. Your occupation lands which rightfully belong to me can no longer be tolerated. Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. Oh, dear. Really? She's also got more troops by a long... That's a lot of troops. That's a lot of troops. Oh, she's also got allies coming in. All right. Rally the troops. Uh, I definitely think we need to invite our ally. I'm glad we made an ally here. Hi. Um... Please help. And that's it. Enforce demand. To the abhorrent Duke Robert, may you be sewn up alive in the belly of a dead camel. You are a greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Okay. Brilliant. And we actually own that land, like, outright. Because Muslim rulers not Catholics, so we're like, be gone with you! And uh, we're going to need our troops back up this way now. Beautiful. Now we did spend our only bit of piety for that. We do want more piety so we can use more holy wars! There we go. Thank you for showing up. A bit worried for a moment. And France is on their way. Ooh. Now it's clear the people of the county of Rosso no longer see themselves as Greek, but as native Sicilians. An interesting development. Uh, what we should probably do is convert to local culture. Oh, we're at war. And uh, we can put that off for a while. Oh, more troops. Great. Hello, Austria. All right, we've got to start moving in. We've got to help France. Otherwise, France is actually going to be outnumbered. They've taken losses just running down here, so I should definitely back them up. It's come to my attention that your bishop is working to fabricate a spurious claim on the county of Salerno. I don't know why he talks like that, but he does. Anyway, uh, I know what I'm doing, Jeffrey. What do you think you're doing? You horrible little man. All right. Bribe and we can get a little uh, claim on Salerno. We get there in time. No, we missed them just. Okay. However, they're going to disembark, which means they'll get the penalty for recently disembarking. Fall to war. Hi. Um, I guess we will join this war? And then we're going to charge at you. There we go. Battle is joined. Uh, Duchess Matilda is actually leading her troops herself. 
and she's not particularly good at it. Uh, she's 11 Marshall, which is a 16 with commander traits. And we're 27. I mean, she is pregnant. Maybe she shouldn't be, you know, quite so much on the front lines. Yeah, decisive victory. And we took a captive. So we enforce our demands. Huh. Nice and easy. You keep the contested county. Dutch the Matilda must pay you war preparations. 331. I will definitely take that. Enforce demands. Thank you very much. So be it. And then I guess we have to charge our army down to defend against whatever's going on. Actually, looks like you've got this in hand. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just disband our army. And then go to a war against you. Done. Raise all armies again. And we won that just in time for them to charge down. Hello. Oh, your allies of Kapua. Hello. We'll fight you as well then. Okay, and then charge after them. Call to war against the Holy Roman Empire. No, sorry, but like, no. <laughs> Commander promoted. Ooh. You are a good commander. Very well. You're also a blade master and a flexible leader. With a very fancy mustache. You're quite built. Look at that. Look at that frame. Yeah. She'll serve me. Time again. There we go. Dealt with. And let's just siege this out. Okay. Emergy Holtville can marry. We could maybe marry the King of Denmark. That's not a bad uh, actual alliance to get. Yeah. Alliance into Denmark and alliance with France. That seems pretty strong to me. Puts us in a good position. 100%. Hello. Despite your allies. Oh, did we wound you? I wounded you. Despite your allies, we will win this war. Okay, let's do this. Enforce demand. Yoink. I'm thinking of building a whole bunch of military camps because plus two damage on archers and they're one of the cheaper units is pretty good. Yeah, let's build uh, some military camps. So we're going to build a military camp there. And military camp here. And then create a man at arms regiment and we'll go for bowmen. Type archers. Lovely. And we'll create a unit of them. Ah, that's now owned by the Byzantine Empire. Ugh. Don't like them being right on my doorstep. Right, we've got a new stewardship perk. Golden obligations. Can demand payment for hooks. Yoink. And then... Can demand a payment from Count Wyman, who is... A one-year-old child. Look. Give me the candy. And also 50 gold. Oh, you got too many domain holdings. That's not allowed. All right. Okay, we're going to man that payment from you. There we go. It's like taking money off a baby. I think we'll probably want to increase the size of this levy as well. Uh, we should search for physician. And maybe we should like hold a feast or call a hunt or no, go for a pilgrimage. There we go. We're going to go to the site at Jerusalem. Duke Robert the Fox is off to Jerusalem to discover what awaits him. It is time to depart. Also, court physician, uh, you're both pretty terrible. I guess I'll have to take Gerbert. Gerbert? Gerbert? Loss of companions. Every week that passes, my fellowship grows ever smaller. Some have gone as far as they can before the need to return home overtakes them. Others have met with less fortunate ends. Most worrying is the fact that my group of personal guards is thinning out at an alarming rate. That fact alone shows what treacherous journey this can be. All I need is the protection of God. We get divine protection, which is diplomacy per devotion, up, intrigue down, monthly party 5%, or locals get foreign guards. Um... 
Prowess and levy size. Not bad. Everybody by prowess and levy size. Because we're not going to get much piety. Yeah, let's do that. Some of the locals. Oh. And we get a claim. Wait until we're back from our pilgrimage. Trusting me. Roger has been asking me for a pet rabbit for a long time. I told him we'll get one. You know what? Let's let's make Robert trusting. Pilgrimage, Tears of St. Nicholas. Even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. It is held out in the open with no church nearby. But early this morning, a storm rolled in and has not ceased. Undeterred, a zealous priest is standing out in the pouring rain, giving a sermon about perseverance in the face of adversity. Despite this, the size of the audience is rapidly dwindling as discouraged adherents seek refuge. I'll be in my tent. We spend piety. Or we gain a whole load of piety and a chance to become ill. What is a little rain to a faithful Catholic? And we're now ill. Okay. Do no more than what is necessary. Okay, we've got a, a huge health boost against that illness. Good, Jibbert. Leeches turn out to be what I needed. Sure. That's fair. Oh, hello. We're a little bit low on money. I'm finally here, body and soul, the great church of Jerusalem. As the bishops offer me blessing, I reflect on everything that's happened. For God to bring me here. At this moment in time. A whole lot of walking. We get faith. We get pilgrim, which gives us piety. Same faith opinion. Um, pilgrimages, we get monthly piety per night. Yay. It's useful. Right, high tents have been constructed, which means that we are going to have a whole load more power. There we go. Ooh, really nice. Base damage of 25, now up to 37 from Domain and Hit and Run. In which case, I think we go to war. Let's fabricate a claim on that while we do it. Hello, I would like to declare war. All my claims. We are way too strong for them. Unrepresented. A Sicilian man has come to petition me for increased representation in government. I could give you Salerno, but eh. I could loosen the reins in exchange for your service. Yes, let's get your service. I'm no longer ill. Huzzah! Okay. That was a nice quick fight. Our claim is victorious. You know what? Let's call a hunt to celebrate our victory. My quarter is the first to see it. The flighty heart is hard to distinguish from the surroundings, but it is observing us through the undergrowth. I lock eyes with the animal, and it is almost as if it can sense my intention, for it suddenly takes off. We ride. Or slow and steady, that cliff looks steep. I mean, we could be careful, or we could ride. The world narrows to the nature surrounding us as we follow the heart and its escape through the ravine. Riding side by side with a Melina. More prestige. Oh, yeah. I notice a kill shot before the arrow even finds its target. As the heart stumbles and falls, we drown out its wails with shouts of victory. Oh, nice. Okay. Why are you forming an independence faction? I mean, you're far too weak. Oh, you owe me more money? Sweet. I mean, we can increase feudal taxes or we can just get a weak hook, which we can ask for money from. Uh, but we should probably just go for the long-term feudal tax increase. We return home, reinvigorated. With even more prestige. Almost indistinguished. Let's have a quick war for Palermo. Oh, wow, that's a lot more forces. Let's go! And a new stewardship lifestyle perk. We're going to take... Monthly income while at war or extort subjects. Uh, we'll go for war. Extorting subjects kind of annoys them. And understandably so. Or if you don't want to fight me, that's fine. I'm just going to go siege this out. Ha! Another claim. Perfect. And we will also invite knights. At least three able-bodied men of 12 more prowess will arrive. Cost us some renown, but we're going to need those people. 
Ooh, 20 prowess. You are really good. Oh, you're a legendary blade master. That explains it. Perfect. I guess. We'll enforce that demands. Done. Although we now have too many uh, things under our control. We now have six holdings. We're only allowed five. So. Oh, you're at war with us. And you're my ally because reasons. Right. Grant two. I'm thinking my nephew, Steward Vassal. No, you already got something. My guest. You are a legendary blade master. Yeah, let's grant you Flemo. Congratulations, you've joined the lovely Duchy of Apulia. Can we create a title yet or anything? Um, it's only duchies. I was hoping we could be able to like create a kingdom, but not yet. Uh, this is annoying. We might have to deal with this. Oh, <laughs> one of my mares has got a claim already. Uh, I think we'll use our claim, though. They are inferior to us, although they do with 3,000 troops. Is that because powerful ally? Oh, Duchess Matilda. Hi. You're annoying. I'll call France in. I'll call France in on my holy war because we're actually defending on that, so it doesn't actually harm us to call you in. Hi. Right, let's chase them down. Come on. Those are Duchess Matilda's troops. There we go. And they're led by her again. Hi. Right. She must really not like us by now. I guess I'll wait till they're decided where they're moving and then we're just going to go fight them as well. Hi. Glory and fame are widely known. Thank you. To be fair, running at the front of the army and winning a load of whole battles is pretty good for our fame. Oh, hello. Look at my land. That's not on. Bowman comes of age. They grow up fast. Okay, well, we're going to need to find you someone good to be your spouse. So, let's start digging. Right, so our son, Beaumont de Hauteville, will hopefully be marrying Amelia. Who is intelligent. Which is a congenital trait. Amelia is smarter than most. So hopefully we can get her on side. She is fickle, content, and patient, and thrifty. Whereas we're brave, cynical, and wrathful. So maybe not the best of matches, but hopefully one that will stick. Unfortunately, a little bit lower than us. She's not landed, and uh, we're going to lose a little bit of prestige for that. But that's fine. It's all about, you know, the bloodline. Getting, getting some good genes in. And I believe Kapua. There we go. The force our demand. So be it. And then we'll find our way over to here. But at the same time, we've got way too many properties. So we're going to have to give away one. And we're going to give this away to someone. You know what? You're a decent person. And you're a blade master. So I'm just going to grant you land anyway. Even if you don't like me. And hopefully you will learn to like me. And in fact, we'll throw in a sway as well. And my son is going to become our chancellor. There we go. Nepotism. Hello. Surprise fighting. Call to war against peasants. We'll accept that. My lord, the peasants are revolting. What is this call to war? Liberty war versus a count and a duke. Uh, we'll accept that as well. Chase you down again. There we go. And we took the high chief's son and heir. Right, if we go over the sea to here, how much is this going to cost us? 26. Yeah, that's fine. Let's end this war by taking their capital. Tilda comes of age. Wait, she can marry the King of France? <gasps> what happened to your brother? Died due to a botched treatment. Oh, oh dear. I'm so sorry. This is terrible. Level of splendor increase. Our dynasty is known far and wide. 
Okay. Uh, sure, we'll join you in this. But also... Duchess Matilda of Tuscany is starting it up again. We'll have to rally the troops. And deal with that next time. We're going to end this war. So be it. We're going to bring our troops all the way home. Unfortunately, France right now is on fire and do need our help. But that'll have to be something we'll deal with in the next episode. So, we have taken a relatively medium-sized duchy. Expanded outwards, grabbed ourselves a whole load of land up here. We've grabbed most of Sicily. And we are actually doing pretty well for ourselves. Uh, we should, in theory, be in a position next episode... To actually expand into maybe Northern Africa. Maybe push back against Duchess Matilda. Because she's getting kind of repetitive. Like she's done this a few times. Oh, hello. This is my nephew. Damn it. What are you doing here? Right, so we're going to call it there for today. I've been Andrew Lysium. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have and enjoyed this Crusader Kings 3 content, you want me to make more, please do the liking, subscribing, and following thing. And then like the bell thing as well. Because it really, really helps out the channel. Uh, it's really, really beneficial. Thank you so much if you do that. Uh, and also comment down below because the YouTube algorithm likes that very much. Let me know what you think about Crusader Kings 3 so far and about our lovely nation. Also, looks like the wrong Harold won the war for England. Hello. Um, also, if you do want to find any of my links, including my affiliate store where you can go and purchase games I'm enjoying right now, including Crusader Kings 3, which uh, offers a kickback to the channel. Um, you can feel free to do so. Go to uh, linktree.ee forward slash enter Elysium. Uh, I've always known as Linktree. Uh, the link will be down below. And if you go to my Nexus store on there, that will show you a whole load of the games I'm enjoying right now. And you can purchase them through there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. But until next time, I've been Enter Elysium. And stay shiny. Bye.